Hi everyone, Callie here. We're on to day 21 of the 2023 LEGO Advent calendars. Yesterday it was mostly mini builds, although there was an animal from the Friends calendar. So I'm hoping for maybe a minifigure today. As we're getting near the end of the calendars, I'm going to take a look at the artwork today and see which builds or minifigures we haven't had yet. Starting with the Marvel calendar today, and I can see we haven't had that table build yet. Or, um, oh, that Christmas tree. We haven't had the Christmas tree yet either. So I wonder if maybe we'll get one of those today. Well, let me just check the back artwork. I don't think there's anything new there that we haven't had before yet either. Uh, no. Okay. All right. On to day 21. Oh, up here at the top. And what do we have? Oh, we have the table build. There we go. So one of the two has been revealed today. This is incredibly similar to the Harry Potter build we had a few days ago, except this time it switches out the liquid cup with the bottle and the goblet. I really like this actually. It's got a, all the Christmas colours. It's got red there, it's got the green bottle, it's got the nice gold elements. So it, it does seem kind of grand and festive. So I like that. Once again, it, it screams more like medieval to me rather than Christmas Winter Village, but that's okay. I, I actually quite like this. I think it's great parts and people will really enjoy it. It's not very marvelish, but it is festive. So it still gets a pass. Brand's calendar's up next and yesterday we got a really cute bunny mold. Looking at the artwork here and I can see that we don't have that cute dog and we also don't have the train yet. So maybe one of those today would be really cool. Let's see what's inside. Day 21, 21, 21, 21. There we go, up the top and we have, hold on, malfunction. There we go, the train, yes. Okay, I'm excited about this. Well, that's a really full parts pack too. That is freaking adorable love those those wheel elements i don't think i have any of those so i can, i would love to actually add to this train but i don't think i have any of those wheels to do that i really like the red and the green colorway it's just it's so festive it's such a wonderful train as you can see it's a substantial size too you can put a little minifigure there and it could like run the train i guess it's friends so it should be the doll and it does move quite easily it's a really nice design big fan of that Looking at the Harry Potter artwork, I can see that we don't have, I think it's Draco is that minifigure, one of the trees, the snowman, and that little build in front of Ron. So I don't think there's going to be any surprises here today. It's just a case of what order they're going to come out in. So 21 and we have, oh, Draco! The thing I was most excited about this minifigure looking at the artwork was actually his headpiece. And now that I see it in real life, I am blown away. It is... Fantastic. I, I've, I've seen this headpiece in red and like a light tan kind of color, but this in the black and the, the gray, it's freaking gorgeous. And oh, I want more of them to, to put in my village somewhere. Anyway, uh, I also really like that he has the black wand. I I'm not a, haven't had a lot of Dracos, so he's pretty cool. His torso is really excellent too. I love the printing there. And he does have an alternate face. So he can be scared or he could just be bad. Because it's Draco and so he shouldn't be happy. So it's perfect to create any part of the scene you want uh, from the third movie while they're going to Hogsmeade. So that's pretty cool. And I think I said headpiece, but I mean the hat. Obviously I'm talking about the hat. The city calendar was yesterday's winner and it's the last one to open today. And looking at the artwork, it seems like we don't yet have Santa and Santa's sleigh. Oh, that's pretty cool. And Mrs. Claus. If we look at the back here, we've got Mrs. Claus. I think we have everything else. So yeah, let's see what we have today. Day 21. And we have it's Mrs. Claus. Oh my God, <laughs> they put her on a snowboard. That is such a wonderful little treat. So this this is a unique minifigure to this calendar. Mrs. Claus is rocking it out. I like how they gave her a different torso from Santa. They could easily have just put a female face on, on Santa's torso, but it is different. It's unique to her. She has a great hairpiece. I've seen that fairly often in gray, but I haven't actually seen it in white before, so that's pretty neat, actually. And Mrs. Claus does come with glasses, and she does have a double-sided face. So let me show you that. There she is. And so she's much like happy and she's like all like, yeah, it's cool. And I absolutely adore that they gave her a dark green snowboard to be on too. So she's like a cool Mrs. Claus. And of course the dark green is very Christmassy. So today, oh, how to pick a winner today. Oh, it's this is really tough because the train is phenomenal and the two minifigures are absolutely outstanding. Both minifigures I did know were in there because of the artwork. Hmm. This is tough, but I think I'm going to give it to Mrs. Claus purely because I don't have a Mrs. Claus from a Winter Village and I have about 26 Santas. 
She's a unique minifigure. She is beautiful and a fantastic addition for my winter village. I'm so excited to finish that train tomorrow as I assume the second half will be in tomorrow's calendar. And that Draco Malfoy is a beautiful minifigure that you don't even need to be a Harry Potter fan to appreciate. Let me know what you would have picked as your favourite in today's calendar in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to let me know and do remember to subscribe so you can find out what's in the calendars tomorrow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.